Yuta landed damage on Sukuna, which proves why Gojo believed in him, unlike Kenjaku. Yuta remarks that Sukuna's RCT output is coming back, which means it's just a matter of time until he gets his domain expansion. There's only a short interval of time in which Yuta has to injure Sukuna so that he can either cannot use his domain at all, or it's not powerful enough to take the others down. Yuta's thoughts reflect the clear influence of his sensei. The responsibility of strength weighs down on their good nature. For example, in chapter 223, Gojo blamed himself that Principal Yaga died because he got sealed. Similarly, Yuta thinks the current dire situation is all his fault. His desire to dispose of Kinjaku was for Gojo's sake, whilst the others deal with Sukuna. Therefore, in a way, he is the reason Higaruma had to sacrifice himself. But Yuta remembers that if Rika hadn't been there, all the uncontrolled spirits would have gone on a rampage. This would have caused a scene just like what happened at the end of the Shibuya incident. So sending Maki wasn't an option. With all these doubts removed, Rika enters the fray and Yuta uses his sword right through her, only for Sukuna to capture it in his bare hand. Yeah, just like Aizen, my man stopped the main character's theme song. However, Sukuna is avoiding any cursed energy imbued in the katana. Rather than simply grabbing it, he uses small and fast paced slashes like a chainsaw to create a gap between his hand and the katana. But this doesn't stop Yuta from punching the king in his second mouth and grabbing his sword to use his domain expansion. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got what we were robbed of earlier. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! Yuta's domain domain is called True and Mutual Love. It contains endless swords, but they're not ordinary. My man is the bone of his sword just like Emya, as each one of them has a different curse technique imbued in them, which Yuta has copied. This domain not only contests with Gojo and Sukuna in terms of power, but the artwork it comes with is pure fire! The domain is so overpowered that Sukuna is forced to activate Hollow Wicker Basket. If you forgot what this is, it's another anti-domain technique that is a predecessor of the simple domain. The reincarnated sorcerers such as Reggie Star and Hashimo use this technique at different points in time. However, just like everyone else, domain expansion is a reflection of a person's mind and soul. Yuta fights to protect those he loves, and the metaphor is personified with him using their powers against Sukuna who thinks love is worthless. So the theme continues regarding who would teach Sukuna about love as he tells Kashimo that his response to those seeking it is their death which is his way of showing it. However, Yuta and Yuji can prove that Sukuna's selfish outlook towards living his life could have been wrong this entire time, as their collective ideal has a chance of winning, just as he admitted in chapter 248. We witness this chance manifesting, with Yuta using all the abilities he has copied with his domain expansion, as he can now use them as many times as he wants. Judging from the amount of katana, Yuta has an endless amount of curse techniques to use, such as Jacob's Ladder, where I must remind you, they could have won earlier if Hana Kurosu wasn't a freaking idiot. Like, look at the damage. He was getting cooked. Stupid! This specific attack targets all evil. And when your domain reflects your soul and is called malevolence, come on, man. Then there's Unumaki's curse speech, which can be activated to give opportunities to his allies to attack Sukuna's soul by stating don't move. Remember that domain expansions do not affect Maki like regular people. In chapter 198, we learn that barrier techniques treat Maki as a building, which allows her to enter them and do sneak attacks. The domain's guaranteed hit cannot recognize her either because she has no curse energy. However, that's not the only trick up her sleeve. Her katana bypasses all physical toughness to cut through the hardest substances and strike directly at the the soul of its target. Now to understand Yuta's complete story and all his powers, watch this video on your screen right now as I break down the entire story. 